I feel like we got to start with the hair. I mean, that's, that's looking solid these days, man. That's looking solid. <laughs> yeah, man, John. My wife hates it. <laughs> she hates it so bad. She, she thinks it's poofy and it looks bad at the edges, but I like it. I think it looks like a lion. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Has that become like a big source of contention around the house? Is she like trying to tell you to cut it or what? Um, on occasion, yes, it does come up, but I've tried to gloss it over and distract and talk about other issues. <laughs> I love it. All right, man. Well, it's right. Last time out, obviously, I know things did not go your way, not the result you wanted, I guess. What do you take out of that? Is it just, I mean, that's just the sport we play, or were there any like particular? I mean, lessons? I was going to get knocked out eventually, right? You're going to keep doing this until you retire. Everything and anything is going to happen to you. So that's just how I tried to deal with it. I'm not putting too much weight into it. I feel good. Um, I was sad, though. I was incredibly disappointed. You know, you work so hard for something for so long and try to do everything possible. And then just to, like, to have it all taken away from you. So when it's all going so well, it's just, it's, it's pretty rough, dude. It sucks. I was sad. But, you know, you got to get over it. And, like, I can't be sad forever. So I'll take a week or two and cry and eat ice cream and then, you know, come back. That's why I wonder, like, hard, because knowing, like, all the sacrifices you've made and all the dedication you make, right, you're doing all the right things, and then this sport is so cruel, right? I mean, somebody's still got to win or lose. Was that hard for you to, to come to terms with? Um, it's something that I'd forgotten about it for a little bit, um, but, you know, we'd, we'd seen it for years. Like, for me, growing up as a kid, like, Chris Lytle and uh, Scott Smith, I think it was. Um, you th or, yeah, I think it was Chris Lytle. Oh, no, it was Pete Sell. Pete Sell. Yeah, sorry. Um, they both have the bald head, but yeah, like, so, <laughs> yeah, like, but, but Pizza hits him with a body shot. You think it's all over, dude's folding, and then he, he just comes back with a Hail Mary right and gets him, and, you know, they, like, Joe Rogan has said forever, um, anything can happen in this sport, like, truly anything can happen at any given time, and maybe that's something that I forgot for a little bit, but yeah. Was it, was it challenging, because I, I know how much happier you are right now, right, with everything that you've done. Is it difficult to, to, to I guess, maybe keep the focus or maintain that happiness? and see this not just all about results, you know what I mean? It's about the process and, and kind of where you go. I mean, it's kind of, I guess, what you have to tell yourself, you know? Like, you have to tell yourself this is just part of it, you know? In five years, whatever, it won't matter. You'll, you'll move past it. You'll be able, you can still move forward. So um, that, that's just kind of, it's, some, it's something you have to tell yourself, and eventually you'll believe it, you know? Talk to me about the focus since. I mean, uh, five months, I guess. Uh, what's kind of been the, the chief focus in camp and, and just in your life? Um, honestly, just same as always. Be a better martial artist. Be the best that I can be. Take care of my kid. Take care of my family. You know, be the best dad I can be and be the best fighter I can be. That's pretty much it. That's really all I do. It's a pretty sweet life. And, and clearly grow an amazing head of hair as well. That's been a, a key focus. Also. Dude, I'm, I'm just a naturally hairy person. Like... I used to shave my hair at 125, like I would shave all my body hair um, when I'd be getting close, just like, cause I was pretty desperate and I was like, yeah, that's like 0 0.2, like my fingernails are like 0 0.1, you know? And I would like, yeah, I'd shave everything. I'm pretty sure I'd lose like 0 0.2 every time I did it. I'm fairly certain. <laughs> We'll talk about this matchup, Davey. Uh, you know, he's had a couple setbacks as well, but he's been in some amazing fights. So, I mean, what do you think about him uh, as an opponent? Uh, if you enjoyed last week's main event, um, of Charles Oliveira and Justin Gage, a taller, lanky jiu-jitsu guy that throws a lot of um, a wide variety of standing strikes versus a ground banger, or well, versus a shorter, stockier guy that throws a lot of hooks with reckless abandon. Could introduce or could interest you in Louis Smoka versus Davy Grant down here for free, as opposed to paying for the uh, for the pay-per-view price. <laughs> That's a hell of a sales pitch, but that's, that's high standards too, but I mean, it does look like, I mean, you described it pretty well. Is that the kind of fight you're expecting? Um, stylistically, just from the outside looking in, it, it, I see a lot of parallels there. Um, you know, like kind of a wider dude, longer reach, um, throws the hooks, throws heavy hooks. Uh, Davy Grant does have a bit more variety he showed his last fight, um, but yeah, like, I mean, come on, dude, we, we, I think we all see it. Does see that uh, the Brit the Brit fans have been coming at you a little bit? Has there been some online banter? What's uh... no, dude? They they didn't take my bait, bro. I was trying to over there tell them this is over. This is for the tea and stuff, and they don't even they don't even care. They're just like, shut up, you lanky shit. I'm like, oh fuck, all right. <laughs> that's that's very British trash talk, right? I know. I was like, oh, I'm kind of into it though. I like it, dude. Their sing song voices and stuff. It's very it's very soothing. <laughs> 
I guess last week for me, I mean, I think you kind of laid it out, but I think on paper this looks like it should be just absolute fireworks, fire the night type material. Um, is that the type of fight you're expecting? Uh, yeah, um, honestly, that's what we prepared for. We prepared for the war. Um, we're gonna try to wear them down. Um, I've done a lot of work. Uh, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to hurt them. Um, it may not be the the exact thing. Like I, I like to pride myself on my own predictability. So it's gonna be fireworks, and you guys will get a finish. But it's like how. Ooh. <laughs> I've just got one question over here. You oh, yeah, mentioned uh, shaving your body. Yeah. So last Manscaped sponsor. <laughs> last week, a lot of fans were questioning why Charles didn't shave his head when he was over, and it sounds like you're saying, you know, that it doesn't really matter all that hair. Can you kind of comment on that a little bit about how much? Body hair really does make a difference. I mean, so if you weigh yourself before and after, like anyone could try this at home, right? You could weigh yourself, then shave your head, then re-weigh yourself to see how much it actually does matter. And really, it's not that much. Like, you're not going to cover 0.5 with that. It's not, it's, it's not enough. But if you're like 0.2 over, 0.1, maybe try. I don't know. If you have enough hair, like, and it's thick like mine, you know, and luxurious, then yeah, maybe you'll make it. But, yeah. All the fans are going to be shaving their heads at home now. I mean... I would be honored. Thank you. Thank you. I would just like a clarification on what sing song voices meant. Mate, you know what I mean by sing song voice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's not a bad intent. No, I like it. I enjoy it, dude. But like, come on. I, I know you guys are about the banter. I know you're about the back and forth. You like the witty responses and stuff. So I'm trying to play into that. And maybe if it gives the UK or the European fan base a reason to care a little more, then I'm happy. I feel like I did my job. Just criticize our teeth, we love that. Oh, your teeth, uh, I think your guys' tea tastes horrible. Those are fighting words. <laughs> Man U is terrible. Real Madrid. I mean, I don't like Man United, so yeah, oh, I agree. Elise. Um, big weekend for Team Oyama. Um, I just wanted to know, I just wanted, like, how did it feel to ha have a belt come back to the gym? Oh, that was amazing, dude. Carla walked in her with her, with her belt on Monday, and we all started cheering. It was great. Um, <laughs> and she also gets married this weekend. Uh, my wife's doing the cookies for it, but she gets married on Saturday. So we were like, I was pretty happy for her because she didn't really get too, like, beat up in the face. I was like, okay, you got the belt. You get to go home. You get to have your wedding. Like, that's not bad, dude. Awesome. Um, and then finally for me, I just wanted to know, uh, where did the last samurai or uh, originally come from? Um, so my first coach, Ron Jun, gave me that nickname. Um, I don't know if you guys remember him from back in the day. Like he fought for the UFC once, like Super Bowl, Super Brawl, Gladiator Challenge, all that stuff. Um, yeah, like so he he just called me the Last Samurai because I was like this little kid. I'm like Asian and whatever, but I'd come in and I'd just get into these wars. Like I, I, I when I was coming up in Hawaii, I had fight of the night like every fight. Like uh, it, it, it was insane. I would, I had some, some wars, and so he called me the last samurai because I was like going out on my shield, and like I was just going out and like just getting into like these, these firefights all the time, and, um, so it was just like I don't know. He just thought that I was the last samurai, and I don't know. Maybe I look a little like Tom Cruise. I don't know. You definitely look like Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> We're like the same height. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> One last one on the hair. Uh, did any, any, any new uh, hobbies or things come out of the hair? Is there something else that maybe is driving the wifey crazy? I mean, have you started like painting in the garage? Are you uh, any, any skateboarding on the weekends? Any other odd little hobbies that have came out as the hair's grown? No, um, I'm, I, I've, I've tried to like, oh, actually plants. Um, we're trying to like take care of plants at home and stuff. I was trying to like mount, like, like, like do it artistically and mount like these floating shelves and I was losing to them for like, like 30 minutes, dude. I was losing to these floating shelves, couldn't figure out how to get them in the wall. It was sad. But yeah, like I'm trying to turn into a plant and like, I guess a plant person. So you get to start composting in your yard or something? Um, I want to grow some like wild orchids or something, something crazy. Yeah. Those are very difficult. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm, I, I don't know. I, all I got is the cactus things right now, but I like them, dude. <laughs> the succulents—they're real easy to take care of, but I like them. 
Would, awesome. When you asked if he was painting, are you saying he looks like Bob Ross with his hair? Is that Bob, what you're going it's, for? It's on the way. It's getting there. It's getting there. If you start, you know, going to fight nights talking about happy trees brought you through the fight, you know, we might have to. I'm going to draw diagrams for you guys in watercolors of what happened. I'm going to be like, okay, so over here, he was coming out in southpaw stance. If you notice, the left leg has been painted slightly forward. <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you. Okay, guys.